Hi, I'm Scott Euler with Cobalt Banker West Shell in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a third generation realtor. Today we're hanging out in the heart of Over the Rhine in downtown Cincinnati. I'm really excited to share with you Brandon's story and his journey in finding his condo. So I was actually introduced to Brandon from one of our agents out in our, one of our more suburban offices. Um, and her daughter actually grew up with Brandon. So that was the introduction. And he actually lives out in Eastgate, which is a suburban market in Cincinnati, suburban area. And uh, he wants to take part of the renaissance that's going on in downtown Cincinnati. And it was interesting when I met with him. He was, did his research ahead of time. Very, very smart. Knew exactly the area that he wanted to be in. And uh, so it actually made my job pretty easy. Um, but at the same time, we definitely had some challenges that came along the way. You know, Brandon has a Chevy Volt. So one of the key things that he needed was an electrical hookup for a Chevy Volt. So you can imagine going into the urban core, you know, looking for uh, a condo or a loft where parking is not at a premium. So not only do we need off-street parking, but we also need a hookup for Brandon Chevy Volt. So that was a huge challenge that we came across. Um, you know, some of the other challenges that we had is when, in his current place that he's in right now in Eastgate, he actually bought that with the, uh, tax, the, the um, uh, tax credit that was available. So he actually can't close on that until a certain period of time. And so while we were looking downtown, once again, there's a lot happening downtown Cincinnati between the development on the banks and what's going on in over the Rhine, and then what's also a new casino coming in. So there's a huge renaissance going on downtown. And what's happening is the inventory is so limited so while we're you know trying to get his condo sold, you know the inventory is dwindling uh, in in downtown Cincinnati. So actually there were some limited places that we could check out. You couple that with the Chevy Volt and the hookup, you know, it really did present a real challenge for us. We're on Main Street in the heart of Over the Rhine. This is a one bedroom, one and a half bath, um, and actually this particular condo unit has been completely restored. So. Um, what that means is it actually offers a 15-year tax abatement, which is significant savings to you um, from, from your taxes. So what we can do is when we finish up, we can actually draw out on paper, show you what those savings look like, and it's some, some definitely some real savings. Um, so but let's talk a little bit about the condo itself. Um, you know, this uh, particular unit has been on the market for about 28 days, so about a month or so, and uh, the price is $225,000. Um, you've got great uh, you know, finishes here with the granite countertops, you have stainless steel appliances, and uh, the other cool thing, you got this nice little wine bar tucked back behind here as well, so um, just a great space for entertaining, and um, when the developers did this, they wanted to keep a lot of the historic charm, um, but make it with today's kind of modern feel. And uh, as you can see, you've got the original hardwood floors that have all been restored. Um, the other thing that's really cool, they've got the uh, exposed brick on the walls, and they've kept some of the original beams that they have going on. And then they kind of added this cool little industrial look going up the steps with the steel rail. Um, but, uh, you know, just a great uh, space if you're looking to entertain. And then in here, you've got a little half bathroom, which is nice, and your guests maybe had a little too much to drink they can you know just pop right in there versus going upstairs to the to the bedroom so um, like I said you're in the heart of the over the Rhine with everything that's happening over here and uh, why don't we take a look see what you think about the upstairs along the way just like any buyer Brandon really had to make some compromises and some of those compromises that he made was the unit that, he, that he's purchasing is really a one bedroom unit. Uh, he would have preferred a two bedroom. Um, he's buying a one bedroom unit. And what happens is it's actually got a little area where he thinks he can have a fold out couch in there or something like that. So it kind of meets his requirement, but didn't all the way uh, where he would have preferred to have a two bedroom. Um, in addition, he really wanted that cool outdoor space. Ideally, he would have liked that to be more of a private outdoor space where at, um, the condo that he's in now, it's kind of got a really cool uh, rooftop area, um, outdoor space, but it's a common area. It's, it's common space where all the other uh, uh, residents there can use. Um, 
you know, as far as the HOAs go, that was a concern for him as well. He wanted to make sure that he, you know, wasn't paying too much for his HOAs. So kind of within the guidelines, he didn't fall on the lower scale, but he wasn't on the higher end. So he was kind of mid, right in between, kind of where he would have liked to be um, on those. So. so Brandon's loft is awesome. Uh, Location-wise, uh, I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, you're literally six blocks from the riverfront and what's going on is known as the Banks area. That's where the two stadiums, the Reds and the Bengals Stadium are. And in between those two stadiums, there's a ton of new development going on with a lot of new restaurants and bars. Um, so really, really cool spot in Cincinnati. It's gained a lot of traction. So six blocks from the stadiums and what's going on at the Banks. And then if you go a little further north, be six blocks from an area called Over the Rhine or the Gateway Quarter. And that's an area that is, is seeing a huge renaissance of kind of old, really cool architecture that's being redeveloped with a lot of local uh, you know, restaurants and bars um, and retail. So it's a really, really cool area. And then if you go a little bit east as well, and within walking distance, we're getting a brand new casino as well. So really, he is in the heart of it. He wanted to be around the nightlife, and he definitely is um, in this location. So. The loft itself is really cool. Uh, it meets a lot of the things that we talked about when we initially met. It's a huge open space, um, a loft style, with 12 foot ceilings. They've got exposed beams up top, um, exposed bricks, so lots of character, which he wanted. Um, and it connects right up, right next to the uh, Contemporary Arts Center and across the street from the Aronoff. Um, the other cool thing is the views are outstanding from the rooftop deck. You've got great views. Um, so overall, it's just an absolute home run for him. And he does get that off-street parking spot where he can hook up that Chevy Volt, which was so important to him as well. Um, so definitely hit a home run. It's a great spot. I'm really excited for him to move in. I think it's a great fit. Hello, I'm Scott Euler with Cole Banker West Shell, based in Cincinnati. Uh, based out of our Hyde Park office, and we'll do that again. <laughs> I think that he would have rather bought, you know, a two-bedroom was kind of where he really, oh man, that was terrible. Let me start with that. You know, uh, like he can put, you know, that's a type of, um, uh, we'll do that one again. Okay. Um, you know, through looking around, uh, no, right. I was terrible. We'll <laughs> Welcome to 1306. Man, that's terrible. Through and trying to find a future home. A lot like, you know, a wife trying to find a husband. I'm sure my wife, you know, she probably had a big list of all the things she wants great in a future husband. And I can tell you, I probably did not meet all of those great things. It looks definitely uh, being one of those. So, but as that list kind of narrows down, um, you know, through looking around, uh, no, right. I was there. 